Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. I'm Marilyn. Today we have bags to unbag from our local jewelry auction. I'm very excited about these. These are great. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry, and we are part time resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. So if you see something today that you like, all you do is send us an email at mhl22 at ymail.com and we will send you a PayPal invoice. Shipping is $5 inside the United States, anything under a pound, anything over a pound, or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. We mainly do jewelry. We do unboxings, we do unbaggings, we do auction, estate sales. We do a little bit of everything. So here is what we have. Some amazing pieces. So let's just dive in and see what we have. First off, this is dyed coral. This is beautiful and it's a very vintage really um tight huge um coral beautiful definitely i'm a seven and a half and it was i would say comfortable on my wrist those are beautiful. And um, one way you tell the difference between dyed red coral and the tagua, I think that's how it's pronounced, nut, which is also dyed red, is the weight. Coral is heavy. That nut is so, so super light. So that's how to tell the difference because they look a lot alike. Um, but this is a beautiful red. So I'm going to say let's do... Let's do $20 for this one. It is just stunning. Here is a cuff. It has a magnet in it, and it is signed Leah Sophia. Um, it has a faux snakeskin look to it. Isn't that interesting? It is. Let's get us some measurements. It's a wide one. It is two inches wide at the very widest and seven inches inside. It is signed right there, Leah Sophia. And it has all its rhinestones so that's very pretty let's see that's very nice so let's say ten dollars on that one that is a very pretty color and uh, I do like that faux snakeskin oh, look at that a little sea turtle let's see if it's signed it's a clamper I do not see a signature uh, let's see. Uh, there's a missing rhinestone right there and there. But you know what? Just looking at it, you barely see them. It's so pretty. Let's see the measurement on this one. It's a little hard because it goes in. <laughs> So it looks like about seven and a quarter, and it is wide. It is three inches from top to bottom. Black rhinestones for the eyes and a blue-green Aurora Borealis. Those are adorable. So I'm going to say let's do, even with the rhinestones missing, I'm going to say let's do 15 on this one. I love that. This one is chalked full of clamper bracelets. Um, I don't see a name on this one. 
and I do see a couple of missing rhinestones on this one, more than a couple actually. But those colors are just stunning. Let's see, it is one and a half inches wide. And this one looks a little smaller, looks about six and three fourths. I am a seven, yeah, see, I can't even get it on. I'm a seven and a half, so. It doesn't close on my wrist and I'm a seven and a half, but that is pretty. So let's say, say $7 on that one. Now this one is like gold tone clamper. I don't see a name gold tone and it's like a metal work that kind of looks like rhinestones but it's just metal it is one inch wide and eight inches so that closes on my wrist with comfort so let's say Let's say $7 on this one. Very nice. Look at these. Wow. This is why I bought the lot. At our local jewelry auction, like I've said before, this is Heidi, I think it's Dawes, Heidi Dawes. Let's see if there's any missing rhinestones. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Heidi Doss is a designer on um, HSN, I believe. A beautiful designer work. And look at this double ring. That is a beautiful. Look at that. Very cool. Heidi Doss started in 1981, Statement Jewelry Concepts, since 1981. I love that. Um, this is called Winged Angels, something like that, or Angel Wings, because it looks like wings. Uh, it is currently on eBay for $189.90 just for the bracelet. And I can't find these two together anywhere. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, the ring is a nine and a quarter. And then the smaller one is an eight. So that would be your pinky and eight nine and a quarter so depending on where you want to wear them you know eight and a nine and a quarter so beautiful so with the two together i'm going to say i know these new run around 100 and this new was 230 uh, i believe 229 So the two together, I'm going to do 175. Aren't those a gorgeous? Beautiful, and they are weighted, definitely. It is two and a quarter. By seven. Oh, that's stunning.
here we have a panther or cat of some type. There is some brass coming through. I don't see a name. It is 24 inches long, so I'm going to say let's just do let's just do $5. Oh, and the uh, pendant is one and a half by one and a quarter. Oh, look at that. I don't see a signature. It is a Thunderbird with a little turquoise. This is probably this style of tie clips were from the 30s and 40s. This part is not sterling, but the Thunderbird is sterling. So I'm going to say $25 for the Southwestern because it's not signed, so we can't say it's Native American. This is pretty. Has a fold-over clasp. don't see a name. This is it very pretty. Just gold tone, I'm going to assume. It is magnetic. And it's 18 inches. And it is really cool the way it lays flat. So let's say, let's say $7. Very pretty. Here we have a watch by Diamondique. It's a quartz. It says base metal bezel and stainless steel. It says made, the band is made in Italy and it is adjustable. It slides, this part slides. So it just probably needs a battery but if somebody's interested, I'm going to say, let's just do, it's very pretty with that heart-shaped face. I'll do $10. That's pretty. There. Oh, isn't that unusual? I don't see a name. That is such a pretty little cameo. And it's reversible, so on this side there's a cameo, and on this side it's just a, a floral with the leaf. Um, it's open in this uh, on the bezels. Um, that is so pretty. I've never seen that before. I'm going to say, oh, let's get us a measurement. It is 28 inches. Ah, I love that. It is just a um, resin. Really nice. So let's say I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna do 14 on this one. I just really like that very cool 60s, 70s look. Very nice. Here we have a pink brooch. Let's see, no signature. It is done in a gunmetal. It is two inches. The rhinestones seem acrylic and they're scratched up. So I'm just gonna say, let's do $3 on that. Here we just have a blue necklace. Some of these are glass, pressed glass, and some of them are acrylic. So it's just a double necklace. Pretty colors. But these are just, um, they're not metal. So I'm just going to say $2 on this one. These are beautiful. These are glass. Faux. Look at that pretty clasp. I don't see a name, but it's a very, very pretty. It is a double strand. It is hand knotted. It is 18 inches on the shortest one these are beautiful i mean these are really good quality here let's say i'm gonna do oh those are gorgeous i'm gonna say let's do 20 dollars on these these are very very nice look at these they're little earrings and they're peacocks those are interesting with little um, seed beads below. Those are cute. They are, I'm going to guess, magnetic because they look like it. Yes. So let's do, these are so cute. Let's do, let's do $5 on those. Those are cute. All right, this is twisted. Let's see what we have. We have a little heart bracelet, but it has some of the rhinestones missing. So I'm just gonna say $2 on that. And this um, was the tag from the auction, costume necklaces and bracelets. So the other one was costume necklaces Earrings, some sign, Whiting and Davis. Here we have two necklaces that say NR Avon. One is, and they're, and they're two separates, okay? Um, but I'll sell them together because they are so pretty together. One is... Thirty-one inches, and the second one is thirty-four inches, and they're faux turquoise and coral with a really nice gold tone. So I'm just gonna say, let's do for both necklaces. Let's do ten dollars. I love those. Here we have a little silver tone brooch. No missing rhinestones. Very nice. So let's just say, it's probably from the 60s. I'm going to go with, let's do $5. Here we have another watch. This is a Bulvia, Bulva, um gold tone. It's wound too tight. 
and I'm just gonna say if somebody wants it, it's $10. If somebody knows how to fix them, you can really make a lot of money on those. Oh, that's pretty. This is a Aurora Borealis um, orangish um, and blue. No signature. It is like a really nice little swirl. It is two and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to say let's do six dollars on that one very nice ah uh, here is the whiting and davis it does have a little bit of tone loss right here but look at that pressed glass so pretty so there's the whiting and davis signature right there so i'm gonna say let's do very pretty it is let's get the measurement one and five eighths by about one and a sixteenth. So I'm gonna say $15 on this, very, very nice. Whiting and Davis is hard to come by. This is spectacular. I purchased this one by itself and it is just fabulous. It is a probably Native American, um, however, it is not signed, so we don't know its origin, but just the work of this and the symbols and the sterling. I'll go ahead and measure, I'll test it, but no doubt that's turquoise and no doubt this is sterling. You handle enough sterling, most of the time, we're not wrong. Um, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> There's your blue. I love that. It's just a roller clasp. So that tells us that it, it at least we know that it was done after um, 1920s but no signature at all, so we can't identify it, but that is a gorgeous little thing. It is one and a quarter by about two thirds, a little winged bug. So I'm gonna say this one is gonna be 50. I love that. This is pretty. Here we have a flower pressed in an acrylic in a locket. The locket has some rust spots inside. The chain it is. 24 inches, but that is really groovy 70s. Just needs to be cleaned up. So I'm gonna say let's do $10. That's pretty cool, love it. Here we have um, one of those collar necklaces. It is a hard form. And here we have just a black um, glass because it's cold to the touch um, it has a dip down so it is a choker and it is a very groovy 70s so I'm going to say 16 inches and the pendant is two inches by about one and two thirds. So I'm gonna say let's do eight dollars for this groovy choker. Here we have a rope swirl pen. 
I do not see a signature. It's a roller class. I wonder if something was on there. Like it looks like you could put something right there, maybe some color or something, but it, I don't see anything. So let's just say $4 for this. Oh, this is a pretty pen. It's gold tone with a rose colored um, rose. It's like all, each one has a different texture to it. I don't see a signature. It is a little petite roller clasp that works. That is pretty. It is an inch and a quarter by an inch and an eighth. I'm going to say let's do $7. That is very pretty. Here we have a cool necklace. I don't see any name. It is a shepherd's hook. It's a three piece, so it moves. Gold tone. I'm gonna say the black is acrylic because it isn't cold. And it is 19 inches in total. So that's pretty cool. So let's just do $5 for that one. Oh, that's a pretty pen. I don't see a name. It is not a roller clasp. It's just an newer, when I say newer, probably 50s, 60s um, C-clasp. Very textured. I'm just going to say $4 because it does have, uh, needs to be cleaned, and it has some... Um, movement on the back with the pen. Here we have, oh, this one's signed. It says something. It says Monet. Ah, so I think we have a set here. So we have a Monet necklace with a bracelet, yes. The bracelet is seven and a quarter, and it is a hidden clasp that just pushes down and opens. That is a cool chain um, netting mesh. Same thing with the necklace, it just hidden clasp. I love that. Let's get you a measurement on the necklace, 16 and a half. So with the two pieces, I'm going to do, let's say, $15 with the two. Those are really cool, groovy 60s, 70s pieces. I love those. Here we have a really cool pair of earrings that are clip-on, gold tone. I don't see a signature. And they are rhinestones with little fans on the bottom. Those are cool. So let's just say $5. Nice. Here we have an N signed Avon. So let's just say with rhinestones. So let's just say $2 for the N. We'll go through these pieces. Ah, this one, oop. This one is missing more than one pearl, but it is pretty. I don't see a name. So it has one pearl and one extra, but it's still missing two pearls. So I'm going to just do $2 on this one. Let me get a bag for it. So $2 for that one. Here we have just a rope chain, 30 inches, gold tone. 
I'm just going to say it is magnetic. So I'm just gonna say let's do $4 for the rope chain. Here we have a little braided bracelet and it says, see what it says. It says Korea on one side and that's it. It doesn't say anything, so I'm just gonna say it is seven and a half inches. So let's just say five dollars. All right, so back to the cross. Yeah, just glass. But very pretty glass. <laughs> And the chain is really cool. It's an older lobster clasp. The chain is 18 inches. So I'm gonna say let's do $10 for the glass multicolor cross. There you go. This piece is fabulous. I love it. With the ring, that is just to die for. And these pearls. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I love these pieces from the auction. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below. Be sure to comment below and let us know what you thought of this. Do you enjoy the estate sales? or the auction, uh, jewelry auction better? Just to let me know. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for spending a little bit of it with us, and we will see you on the next one.